Hi everybody, we're going to talk about how you can use uh, video chat software for basic collaboration and interaction with your audience. So I'm going to show and use um, Zoom today to show you how we're going, how you can ask your students to interact with each other through the chat box, through the whiteboard sharing function and the screen share function of Zoom. Now I'm going to use Zoom today, but you can use any other video chat software for this, which can um, offer screen share solutions and a chat box. So let's look at the first uh, way to interact with your students. We're going to use the chat box okay so let's imagine that I ask my students um, to finish the sentence I give them I can either type that sentence in or I just um, say the sentence out loud if I say the sentence only then I can check their um, listening I can check their understanding but of course um, I risk that they uh, don't understand something or they misunderstand a word and then the sentence endings are going to uh, be completely wrong let's say so now I'm going to type the sentence in so let's say I'm gonna say um, if I were uh, okay, if I were a ship, I, or not even I, I'm just going to leave it this way, okay? Let them, let's make this into a, 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 a psychological task as well, okay? So if I were a ship, they can say many things. I would go here or there, um, I would be rusty, or I would be perfectly beautiful, or huge and expensive. Um, so um, they can write a lot of different sentences, so let's try that. Um, they can say, I would um, go around the world. Or, um, obviously now I can only type um, as myself, so you you can't see through the chat box that it's uh, coming from different people, but um, they could also say that I would uh, be a pirate ship. Um, um, this way you can get um, answers from your students, and then you can... Um, evaluate these sentences later on because everything is written down, they interacted with you, and they can then either uh, comment on each other's ideas or you can comment on their ideas. Um, obviously, at first, it could be a nice idea to ask them to give feedback on the content, so like who had the best idea or um, who do you think... Um, is the most creative of, of all of us, and then you can take um, the chance to sort of uh, comment on their grammar. However, if they are advanced enough or, or if they have enough learner training, they can correct each other's grammar as well. This can really be done in, in speaking um, because you cannot really edit anything that is in the chat box. You can just um, um, talk about it, okay? Um, you can then um, ask various things so like, um, for example, enter a fruit which starts with B, okay? And then you might give them a time limit. Now you've got 10 seconds to give me fruits that start with B. And they he, uh, immediately need to start um, typing words that come to their minds. You can check uh, who says what and then... After that, you can evaluate their responses. Um, this is also very good for their spelling, not only their other skills such as memory and speaking and grammar, but you can practice spelling with this as well. So something that you might not be able to do in a live lesson. And so the chat box can be used for brainstorming, quick sentence, uh, sentence endings. Um, also, you can ask them to like, okay, um, tell me what's your favorite color. And um, it's sort of like a quick poll that everybody gives you a color and you can then check how many people said the same one. So basically the chat box, even though it's a very basic tool, it can be used for a lot of things. And um, you can teach grammar with it, you can teach sentence structure as well. So for example, I could say that even though, um, even though I don't have a car, for example, when you're trying to teach them linking words and cohesive devices, you can check whether they know what sort of thing should come after even though. Um, and by 
asking them to finish sentences, you can find out a lot of things about their knowledge. So that is basically the chat box. Now, let's move on, okay? So now I'm going to disappear and show you what you can um, do if you share your screen or your whiteboard, okay? So let's say we share our whiteboard. All right, so here we have this whiteboard and I might just write something. Um, they, they either need to um, disagree or agree with, so I just write um, statements. Okay, so for example, every animal is lovely, okay, or um, all plants smell bad. Okay, and what I, what they can do, and I will show you that this can be done on a shared screen as well, not just a shared whiteboard, um, they can use the stamp function here to agree or disagree with the statement. If, let's say, you can make it so, so simple that it's just an agree-disagree um, decision, but let's say you want to add a, sec, a third option that they are undecided, so they can put a question mark there. Okay, so that is one. This is one um, way to utilize the whiteboard to write things on it, and then um, you can ask them to agree or disagree. Now, you might ask, okay, but I can just project uh, a document um, on the screen. Why do I need the whiteboard for it? This is a perfectly valid question, and I will show you why, because they can be the ones writing these um, statements. So let's say you just learned the conditional, as we practiced in the chat box. Now you ask them to to write sentences. So, um, for example, we're just going to clear all this and they say that um, if people um, had a million dollars, they would um, buy food instead of clothes. Okay? Um, I'm not sure if it's true or not, doesn't matter. Um, they could come up with, let's say, different um, statements because with the screen share function, they are able to write on your whiteboard. So we could have um, somebody's statement here, then another statement and another and another. How can this be done? Um, for that, as you can see on my screen, I have this um, meeting control bar at the top of the screen. Now, this is something different for uh, viewers of Zoom or participants of Zoom. They see a different bar here, basically. So what they would see is that um, they see this green section and next to it, they would see view options. And if they click view on view options, they would then um, see um, that they can annotate the whiteboard. So they should click on annotate and then they are able to write on my board. So I can then ask them to give, my, give me ideas and then they can vote. That is one way to use the whiteboard, um, but let's look at another thing. I can also use it for um, presenting grammar or checking their understanding of grammar rules because, for example, we're dealing with this statement here and I want to ask them to uh, circle or underline certain parts of the sentence. So I ask them, please um, circle the uh, plural uh, words in this sentence or not circle but underline and then they would do this so i can check their understanding of certain grammar rules that's another thing we can do moving on to screen share okay so this was whiteboard share now we're going to um stop this stop this whole thing actually, and I will show you a snippet of a video lesson I created. This was a video webinar, okay? So the students were on mute, that's an important point, but you can see how I interacted with them. 
take a couple of minutes, okay? Um, and put ticks and crosses next to things that should or shouldn't be included in a review. All right, okay, I've got some ticks now. Very good. Mm -hmm. Also think about the film review as well. Okay, nice. Don't worry if you have different ideas from the others, just be brave. Ooh, lots and lots and lots of crosses at the film review. For example, now I've got lots and lots of ideas here, but I can use a different stamp, um, a star, that gives them the answer key. So even though the, the whole screen looks a bit chaotic, um, but they were very active and they took part, I can clearly show them the correct answers. Okay? All right. So that is screen or basically annotating the shared screen, which you can do. And now I'm going to show you another thing which you can do through a screen, uh, a screen share, which is uh, a shared document. Okay, so I'm now showing you the, the most basic and easiest option to work together on a document. Easiest one is if I share this screen with my students and with the annotate function, they start writing on the screen. Okay, so with that, they don't even need to have access to this document. They, I can just simply share the screen itself and they add their comments on the screen. However, if I want them to be able to edit the document and maybe access it later, what I can do, this is, as you can see, it's um, Google, so it's Google Docs. I created this lovely poster for our little ice cream parlor and I will go to share and what I will do is either get a shareable link which is the easier option and then anyone with the link can edit okay this this is very very important to add uh, or to think about this function here that they can edit the document then I copy the link uh, send it in the chat box and they will be able to edit the document directly and access it after the class as well okay so this is a very basic way of interaction and collaboration with your students using video chat software and to be honest, the same thing happens in um, Teams or in WebEx. The, the things that you can use are chat boxes, screen share, annotate function, and, and uh, whiteboard share.